Good morning. Today is August 29th, and we are reading from the New Living Translation. We're on Psalm 118. I'm going to talk a little bit about Psalm 119, though. It's a very long song. It's the longest psalm in the Bible. The longest. It's like four pages, I think. Something like that. Um, how am I going to do that, right? Because it is very, very long. Um, and I don't think, I think I'm going to take sections, like 15 minute sections and go through it like that. So it might be three or four videos to get through this. Um, it is, it is very long. It's very informational too. Um, Psalm 119, I, I just love it. The whole thing is highlighted. Um, it is so good. It is really, really, really good. So tomorrow we will start that. Um, and there is just so much information, like real like instructions that you need to follow, right? And so um, it's good. It's really good. I'm very excited for that. But like I said, we'll just do 15-minute um, intervals on it and see how far we get with it, right? We'll do it like that. Um, so Psalms 118, let me pray us in. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you, God. For being here with us lord jesus thank you for um the wisdom knowledge and understanding lord jesus for your word for today lord jesus we just thank you for that lord jesus and we just ask that you bless us lord jesus and open our ears and eyes to see you lord jesus in jesus name we pray amen amen okay psalm 118 says give thanks to the lord for he is good his faithful love endures forever let all Israel repeat, his faithful love endures forever. Let Aaron's descendants, the priests, repeat, his faithful love endures forever. Let all who fear him, fear the Lord, repeat, his faithful love endures forever. Can we just repeat that? His faithful love endures forever. That means God loves you forever. Like forever. Do you understand that? Like forever. Like he doesn't not love you. So when you get it in your head that you think you did something so heinous and bogus that God is like, nope, you're out of it. You're... Did you ask for forgiveness? Because when you ask for forgiveness, guess what? God loves you. God loves you. Well, he loves you anyways. But he wants his children to ask for forgiveness. You know, I ask for forgiveness every day. Every single day. Because what is a sin in God's eyes may not be a sin in my eyes. Mm-hmm. Ask for forgiveness every day. I am telling you, you need to do that. Number five, in my distress, I prayed to the Lord and God answered my prayer and set me free. He answers prayers. He sets you free. Yes. The Lord, the Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? That's what it says in the Bible. You know, I'm going to talk about something. So when, when those people come up against you, when people come up against you and somebody's saying something about you, right? You're the one who lets them do that. You understand that, right? Because it makes your emotions are what... So when somebody tries to um, denounce my character... And say that I'm still a drug addict, I'm still this, I'm still that. First of all, they don't even know me, right? Obviously not. Okay. Second of all, I have this peace over the matter. I have, like, I have total peace. Like, I'm like, okay, God, why is Satan messing with me today? That's what I said. Because it ain't the person, it's Satan that's in them. That's what it is. Because why would somebody who doesn't know you, right because you know, a lot of people that don't know me start trying to pretend that I am something that I am not that is like the enemy just trying to attack you and be like oh let's make her have a bad day let's get in this person's head and do this and make them do this like a puppet bup, 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 right and it's, a, it's like so you don't fight flesh and blood you fight evil rules and authorities of the unseen world that's what you do so you're never fighting flesh and blood mm -mm. No, if you're a child of God, you ain't fighting flesh and blood. You are not. Okay, so what can your people do to me? Nothing. Nothing. They can't do anything. Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I will look in triumph at those who hate me. 
It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. It is better to take refuge in God. Just take refuge in Him. Take refuge in Him. Number 10. Though hostile nations surround me, I destroy them all with the authority of the Lord. Yes, they surrounded and attacked me, but I destroyed them with all the authority of the Lord. You know, destroying destroying the devil, right? Because in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, they have to come out. You know that, right? They have to come out. They have to leave. They can't stay. In the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. And that's how it is. In the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, that they have to come out. And this says right here, if you want a little scripture on it. It says, through hostile nations surround me, devil, demons, whatever you want to call it, right? I destroyed them with all the authority of the Lord. That's number 10. Verse 10. Look it up. If you don't believe me, look it up. Verse 10. All the authority of the Lord, they're destroyed. Mm -hmm. Number 12. They swarm around me like bees. They're blazing. They blaze against me like crackling fire. Fire. But I destroy them with all the authority of the Lord. Number, number 12 says it too. But I destroy them with all the authority of the Lord. You know, God can destroy your enemies, right? I'm not talking about humans. I'm talking about the stuff that lives in those humans, right? Yes. Number 13, my enemies did their best to kill me, but the Lord rescued me. The Lord, my, the Lord is my strength and my song. He gave me victory. Songs of joy and victory are snug in the camp of the godly. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. Thank you, Jesus. Right? Do you ever just thank him? Just thank him. So good to thank him. It is. Um, the strong right arm, number 16, the strong right arm of the Lord is raised in triumph. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. I will not die. Instead, I will live and tell what the Lord has done. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not let me die. So when you feel like the Lord punishes you, right? feel like oh this is a god thing right sometimes you think it's the devil and it's god you know that like sometimes you're like but god puts you through a trial he so god wants us first of all i'm gonna tell you something right you go through these trials there are these tests okay you're always gonna go through a test you're not, not going to go through a test. You always go through a test. Now, whether you fail it or pass it, that determines your next course. Because if you pass it, then like God kind of le levels you up, right? And gives you more, right? Gives you more like knowledge, you know, more wisdom, you know what I mean? More uh, understanding. And, you know, he walks you through this, you know, this path. Like, okay, okay. She went through this, right? She came out ahead. She didn't like deny me. She didn't do this. She didn't say, God, you're not here, blah, blah, blah. She kept calling on me during this test, right? You know? And so you go through this test. You get on the other side, right? Now, there is a test that I have taken many times. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There is a test I've taken many times. I didn't realize it was a test until it kept happening. And this was like the third time that it happened. I'm like, wait a second. That's, we've been here before. This is like a whole like replay of it, right? Uh, just a different version, but a replay of it. And I'm like, okay, Jesus. I need to get something right in this one. And it is not a... It's not anything that's, I mean, it affects me, but it doesn't like, like, it's not like this big old, you know what I mean, thing. It's just something that I have to pass. And I'm working through it. But I think this is a passing. I'm going to pass this one. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to pass this one. So it'll be good. It'll be good. Um, because it's really, I mean, 19? 19. 
Okay, 19. Open for me the gates where the righteous enter, and I will go in and thank the Lord. These gates lead to the presence of the Lord, and the godly enter there. I thank you for answering my prayer and give victory and giving me victory. Open the gates where the righteous enter. Righteous. Enter. Yes. And go in and thank Jesus. Thank him. Just thank him. Thank him for what you have. You know. I'm going to talk to you about it right now. Um, so, one of the things is God has really been putting on my heart is like understanding what other people don't have. Not what they have, but what they don't have. Right? Because people in other countries don't have a lot of luxuries. Like, some of them don't even have Bibles. You know? And some of them have to rip pages out so they can, you know, be able to study a page of the Bible. Right? And we're so blessed to have a full Bible. You know, it's just some things, you know, some things that we don't think about, but maybe we should. Number 22, the stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is wonderful to see. This is the day the Lord had made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day the Lord had made. Yeah, it's a song, right? Please, Lord, please save us. Please, Lord, please give us success. Bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God shining upon us. Take this sacrifice and bind it with the cords on the altar. You are my God and I will praise you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. It endures forever. Um, you know, I remember I didn't understand this. The stone that the builders had rejected now become the cornerstone. I never understood that for a long, long time. And they're talking about Jesus because they rejected Jesus. And now Jesus is like right here, right? Yeah, I, I didn't understand that for a long time. But now I do. Isn't that cool how God works? He like, you read a scripture and you keep reading it and you keep reading it and you don't understand it, right? You, you don't. You're like, okay, okay. It's not there yet. It's not there yet. And then now all of a sudden it's like, oh. Now I understand it. Now I do. Oh, it's so good. God is so good. So wonderful, right? Oh, I'm going to pray us out of here. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you for this wonderful message, Lord Jesus. It has been truly a blessing of a message, Lord Jesus. I just thought that everybody has heard this message, Lord Jesus, and that um, they, they, get, they get the wisdom. They get the knowledge. They get the understanding, Lord Jesus. I ask that. Mm. Or Jesus, that you bless. You just bless that person, Lord Jesus. That uh, oh, that, that their foot. There's something wrong with their foot, Lord Jesus. I just ask that you heal that foot, Lord Jesus. That you heal that foot, Lord Jesus. That they they need prayer for that, Lord Jesus. So we're praying right now, all in agreement, that you heal their foot, Lord Jesus. Just heal it. Jesus. Whatever is wrong with it, just heal it, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you. We love you. We love you. Okay. Well, that was interesting. You know, I love it when God shows me things because it's good. I love you. Have a wonderful and blessed